This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get a visit, I put them out. So you don't think I see them analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. When it gives a false narrative the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the criminality, the fraud, it never ends. These guys, these bad actors, these banks, they take it to another level. And you know what? They never really pay. Okay, you got Dank, Danks Key Bank, D-A-N-C-K-E. I might be pronouncing it wrong because they're, they're Denmark's largest bank. <laughs> and a U.S. judge accepted a guilty plea from them. Okay? And here's the thing. They're, they're, they're being fined $2 billion. They're being fined $2 billion. And it's absolutely... And, and to matter of fact, to a normal person, that might seem like a lot of money. But compared to how much they probably made, it is a small pittance. They, out of that $2 billion, $1.21 billion goes to the U.S. government, of course, because you know the U.S. government is going to get the biggest cut out of that money. $178 million goes to the SEC, the same SEC who who never has resources to go after the bad actors, but somehow they seem to be collecting a lot of fees, a lot of fees, but who knows where this money goes? Because they're getting $178 million, but they never have resources to go after the big dogs robbing retail investors and pension funds. And $672 million is going to the Danish authority. But here's the thing. These guys allegedly moved $210 billion dollars and suspicious payments. And these are the ones that we're aware of. And 160 billion of it was for non-residents utilizing US banks. So this Denmark bank was in the United States allegedly money laundering, money laundering on US soil. And their fine is only $2 billion and United States only getting one2 billion dollars how much did they really make from these illegal transactions and that's the problem if you can make 200 billion dollars and your fine is only two billion dollars which is what one percent one percent of your gains is that a deterrent to stop you from breaking the law that's why the hedgies the bad actors continue to do what they do in our stock market because whenever they caught if they get caught the fine is only a small small percentage of the gains that they received from breaking the law and who ends up taking the loss retail investors and pension funds anyway please leave some comments and tell me what you think about Denmark's largest bank being fined two billion dollars where they were moving allegedly over 210 billion dollars in suspicious transactions. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.